hello there. Vic Benedict here. We're playing Dark Souls 3 on the PC. This is my guide and walkthrough. We're currently on part 24, Dancer of the Boreal Valley boss fight. So I have infused my longsword plus 7 with the sharp element, making it the sharp longsword plus 7. And I've also equipped some armor just without anything particular in mind. I don't know if I went for fire damage absorption because she does have a flame sword. And it... It's a pretty damn hard fight, and the main reason it's hard is she is because she combos you a lot at the end, and she takes off extremely high amount of damage from you. So at the at the beginning of the fight, uh, she's not too dangerous, but she can grab you and uh, do some pretty strong attacks on you. Even though she's not going to really get into like the combos until like two thirds, like a th at least a third of her life is gone. She has a pretty mean grab, which I think she's going to demonstrate in a moment. But you definitely want to two-hand your weapon here because you probably won't guard. Watch out for that. It's some kind of a combustion attack. Have I got grabbed yet? I don't know. Now I have. Watch this. That damage. Now, the thing I like about this fight is that you are safe behind the columns in this room. Um, it screws with the lock-on, and... Okay, it, it should be... We have to talk about when she does that. She does this black mist around her, and then she literally goes crazy around the room. And you just need to get the hell away. Like, when you see her using that block... I, I don't know what it is. It's not curse. I, I don't know what it is. It's just... I think it's just a tell that she's going to do an extremely long and very deadly and dangerous combo right there. See, she did it right there, but I don't think she followed it up with that huge spinning attack. Did she? Maybe she kind of transitioned into another attack right there. But you really need to be aggressive on her at the beginning to deal some damage here. I don't really know what she's weak against. I haven't been able to find them. Some bosses, they're just not weak against too much. But this is definitely a, a fight where you're going to have to implement the rolling R1 attack to kind of iframe your way through her attacks and start, you know, feeling the rhythm of the fight because you're probably going to be here for a while if you're like me because this fight is just not easy. It's my least favorite fight of the entire game. Uh, I just, I find nothing fun about this fight. Okay, so watch out for her double stab right there. And it, it really has to be emphasized like the way I play. It's, it's rolling R1s very frequently, and I framing my way through attacks. I I really, I favor that. I favor it and I love it. I love playing like that. And Greed here is pretty dangerous, although we got away with it right there. Whew, that was hard. That's a hard fight. So thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next part. Take care.